Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a feedback system with Roblox webhooks. I mean with Discord webhooks in Roblox. Um, it's going to be a simple GUI that I have right here. When a player opens this and types in their uh, you know, thing and then clicks submit, then it'll send it to the Discord server of your choice. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to leave a link to this GUI in the description or the free model to everything in the description. But let's get started with the server script. So in the server script, you wanna have a, a variable defining your webhook URL. But you can see what's different about this webhook URL is that right here, instead of it saying discord.com, it says this. Now, since Discord is blocked Roblox from using their proxy, um, <clears throat> for using their webhooks, this is actually a proxy server right here. So when you replace discord.com with this, then it'll work just how it did before. Um, I'll leave the link to this uh, thing right here in the description. But now that's out of the way, you wanna define your webhook and then you wanna define HTTP service. So we can just do local HTTP equals game get service HTTP service like that. Um, we also have to find a cooldown. So local cool down equals five. I'm going to use five seconds for testing, but I would recommend you do like maybe like a minute per player. Um, yeah, so let's also define the event. So local event equals game dot replicated storage dot send feedback. Now we want to go ahead and check when this event is fired, create the cooldown for the player and send it to the uh, server. So we can just do. Uh, event dot on server event connect function player uh, message like that so we'll get the player who sent it and then the message now let's check if the player has a cooldown or not um, we're gonna do if not script find first child uh, player dot not plugin player dot name then the way we're gonna do this cooldown server sided is when the player sends a feedback report, we're gonna put a value in the script with their name on it. So if that name's there and they try to do it again, then it's not gonna work until that value is gone after waiting the five cooldown seconds. So if not uh, that value, then local player value equals instance.new. Let's just do a bool value script so we're going to enter a bool value into the script player value dot name equals player dot name so we'll enter a bool value with the player's name and this is basically our cooldown right here now let's create a table with the message that we're going to do so let's just do local and let me drop a couple lines let's just do local data equals i'm going to open a table up like that uh and in an array you want to type content equals and this content right here is going to be our message that sends when the player fires domain so let's just do new feedback and then concatenate it uh actually let's do new feedback from and then player dot name like that uh and then Let's just do the message. So right now it's gonna be new feedback from Lewiscape. Um, they said message. So it'll be new feedback from Lewiscape. They said, and then the message. And now let's go ahead and encode this table with HTTP service. So let's do HTTP JSON and actually no, local final data equals HTTP service, JSON encode data. And then we can do HTTP post async webhook URL final data. <laughs> and then let's go ahead and remove the cooldown after the amount. So we can do wait cooldown player value. Actually, uh, wait cooldown script, uh, script player.name destroy so to look in the script find a value with the player's name and then destroy it um yeah so now on the client side of things 
I'm gonna go ahead and enter a local script into the submit button right here. And this will be our client handler. When you click it, it'll fire the event. This is gonna be pretty simple. So let's just do script.parent dot mouse button click connect function now i want to make it so it won't send unless there's more than 10 characters in the um the feedback box so let's do if hashtag script dot parent dot parent dot parent i think wait dot feedback box script dot parent dot parent the feedback box script dot parent is the submit button dot parent is the main and then dot feedback box is this the reason we're putting a hashtag here is the hashtag basically gets the length of, um, you know, text. So if we do length feedback box dot text is greater than equal to ten, then we can fire the event. So game dot replicated storage dot send feedback fire server, uh, and then script dot parent dot parent dot feedback box dot text. So let's go ahead and test this out now. Also, make sure in your game settings, go to security, make sure you have HTTP request on and enable studio access to API services on or else it will not work. So you load into the game right here in the feedback box. If we type just one letter, obviously it's not gonna send anything to the server. But if we type, um, this is some feedback this is obviously more than 10 characters. We go ahead and click submit. It sends it right here. New feedback from Lewiscape. They said this is some feedback. Now, the cooldown system, if we send it again and then keep spam clicking it, you see it only sent that one time. And that's because of our cooldown. So if you go ahead and send it, go to server view, go right here and go into the script. We have a value with our name on it, and that gets deleted after the amount of cooldown. And then we're able to send the thing again. Um, but yeah, uh, if this guys, if this video helped you out anyways, be sure to leave a like on the video or subscribe. I'm going to be leaving this entire free model in the description so you don't have to retype this all out. And yeah.